you. Well, a federal program that has made it possible for many Arkansas families to access the Internet is about to end. The $14 billion program for low-income households was enacted in 2021, but its funding is now running out. Channel 7's Kayla Christian joins us now live with uh, who's going to be most affected by this and the options they'll have moving forward. Kayla? Yes, this change will have a big impact on anyone enrolled in the Affordable Connectivity Program. Many use the internet for work, health care, and education, but it could especially be an issue for those who are homeschooled. A lot of them do depend on that for their educational program. They're using the same types of uh, educational programs in their homes, which you're either doing it online or you're doing research or you're connecting with other support groups, other families. So it's a variety of ways homeschoolers can use the Internet to uh, enhance their homeschooling. Qualifying low-income households were receiving up to $30 off their broadband service and connected devices through the Affordable Connectivity Program. Many of our homeschoolers are uh, families, are one income family. You have one parent working and one at home uh, educating their children, and many of them have several children. That could be a, a, a huge impact on our families across Arkansas if they're involved in this program, because that's going to have to make them stop and figure out how they're going to adjust their budget for the coming year. Since the $14.2 billion funding was only estimated to last through the end of April and there's been no word of an extension, the FCC is urging those enrolled to find the best options for them. When it comes to homeschooling, however, that might might be easier said than done. If I'm not able to connect by internet, then maybe I'm going to have to hire a tutor or maybe I'm going to have to take them in and meet some someone to tutor them or uh, find a teacher or a college student. And like I said, if you're in a rural area, that, that sometimes can be difficult. For more information about the conclusion of the Affordable Connectivity Program, visit KATV.com. On your side, I'm Kayla Christian. Okay, Kayla, thanks very much. Households should receive a notice about these changes. Internet plans can be switched without a penalty.